Hi everyone. All right. Oh, there's a lot going on at the moment, isn't there? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. If it's not part illegal parties in Downing Street, did or didn't it happen? It's the new Omicron variants. It's the wearing of face masks in supermarkets again. And now, of course, it's the wearing of face masks in cinemas, theatres and nightclubs again. Mandatory from Friday. What's it going to do? What's it going to do? This video, by the way, is, is going to divide the room a bit. It's probably going to even make me some enemies. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see what happens, won't we, anyway. But there we go. Um, whatever will be, will be. <laughs> que sera, sera, I suppose. But we've got to say how it is. We can't, we can't not tell the truth. So there we go. Um, yeah, the government, I do hope it's not a smokescreen, for goodness sake. I do hope they haven't released this, you know, just to get everyone talking about it so they don't um, talk about whether this party happened or not. I mean, how selfish would that be, for goodness sake? That would be awful, wouldn't it? That would be really bad. I mean, the government's not doing itself any favours at the moment at all, and who's going to vote the Prime Minister out? You can't, you can only vote him out at a general election, so you need a general election to do that. And, um, I don't know when that's going to happen, not any time soon, I don't think. So, um, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? But everyone's up in arms about it, this, this illegal party. It looks like it did happen, and of course the press, press secretary, she's resigned, that was in the video, the leaked video that's appeared from yesterday, and um, she was in tears yesterday as she resigned. But Boris isn't going to resign, is he? None of, none of them are going to resign. There's no uh, honour anymore. There's no falling on swords anymore in politics, it seems. But let's see what happens. I've voted Conservative in my lifetime, of course I have, you know, I have voted Conservative, um, like many, 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 like the majority of other people, I guess, um, but let's see what happens, let's see what happens, but what is this going to do to the theatre industry, and specifically the amateur theatre industry, which we are all part of, I mean, for goodness sake, we publish a magazine about it, um, we're also publishing the Little Theatre Guild yearbook, and this is this is last year's yearbook, by the way. And um, they've got 124 members now. It's really high, and in it, it's really interesting. All 124 members put a report in over what has happened in the last year, and of course, we're putting it together. And what they're telling us is. Um, what happened in the last 20 months or the last year is they haven't produced anything um, most of the LTG members and these are these are all dramatic societies let's remember so more of your typical I suppose typical Amdram makeup of society um, rather than just musical companies um, which I know Noda's members are mostly musical so for, um, the LTG membership is mostly dramatic or nearly all dramatic societies and um, they said they haven't produced a single thing most of them since um, since lockdown began <coughs> <coughs> this cough's going now by the way um, but it's taken a long time to shake it off I don't think it's quite long Covid but um, it's, it's we got it a month ago Covid so I don't know you see, the trouble is you get coughs this time of year anyway. I went to a panto this week and um, <laughs> it's quite funny. The guy said um, you used to have to um, cough to cover up a fart. <laughs> but now you have to fart to cover up a cough. It's true, isn't it? You do have to always cover your cough up. Because if you cough it any, anywhere in public, let alone in a theatre, everyone looks at you thinking, oh my God, they're spreading Covid around the theatre. And we're neg we've been negative for three weeks now. And we test daily. Lateral flow tests daily. And um, they're all negative at the moment. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, there we go. Um, it's going. Thank goodness. 
it's going. So, yeah. So what's he going to do to the um, amateur theatre industry? Um, just when it was getting itself back on its feet, if if the little theatre guild members, 124 of them, have um, got to the stage when they haven't produced anything for 21 months or so, 22 months, whatever it might be, um, in March it'll be two years, won't it? 24 months. But if they if it just get to the stage when they're able to produce a programme for next year and hopefully start to invite audiences back in, the amateur theatres have taken a lot longer to get back in than the professional theatres because I suppose the membership of amateur theatres aren't doing it for their careers, they're doing it because they're the same people that would be in the audience. They're the same kind of people. And so if they're hesitant about going into an audience, they'll be hesitant about going back and creating theatre. Um, yeah, so that's why it's taking longer. And so if, um, if it was just getting to the stage when people were thinking it was safe to go back in the water, probably, this will have put everything back and so if it's a smoke screen then it's a really really um silly smoke screen it's a really selfish smoke screen it's just to deflect attention away from this stupid stupid party whether it did or didn't happen but um i wouldn't put it past anyone in the government these days um, they all seem to be in it for themselves anyway that's another story um, yeah, masks, it was, it was, I, I mean, what's the next step? Social distancing in theatres, is there going to be another step? Um, apparently in the UK, the daily admissions into hospital with COVID is under a thousand still, um, compared to 4,000 in January, because we've all been double vaccinated and boosted now, I guess. Most of us have been anyway, we're all double vaccinated, nearly all of us anyway. So most of us has had the boosters or not. Um, I've had my booster. Have you had yours? Yeah, good. Moderna I had, which is the one I don't know much about, but apparently you can have any one. And it's, it's, it works quite well. Moderna seemed to work alright, yep. Yeah. Which meant when we got it a month ago, um, it didn't really affect us. We were we were we weren't very ill at all. And that's the idea, isn't it? You know, there's over forty thousand infections a day, but only a thousand are being admitted to hospital. And in out of sixty something million in the UK, one thousand people is negligible. It's negligible. And um the government don't know um, what is, how virulent or not virulent the new strain is, this new um, Omicron strain. They don't know because you have to breed cultures for two weeks when you get them, don't you? And it hasn't been two weeks since it was announced it was coming into the UK, this, this new variant. And that's probably just coming up soon, actually. Um, and they'll probably distribute the figures around soon so we'll know I guess how effective the vaccine is against the new variants but whatever happens it's here to stay it's here to stay we'll get um, there'll be um, an updated vaccine like the flu one we get every year every winter there'll be an updated Covid vaccine that we will we'll be advised to go and get every year which we'll probably have to do and so why they're carrying on with this farce, I don't know, unless it is a smokescreen. I mean, why, why, you know, if there's under a thousand in the whole of the UK a day being in, admitted to hospital, why are we putting masks on everybody again in the theatres and putting the fear of God up into people? Why are we doing it? it it's ridiculous. Um... If we're heading for another lockdown, I don't think many theatres will take it. I really don't think many theatres will take it. Anyway, there we go. Um, we've got, in, in the middle of all of this, right? I mean, it's amazing. We've got a new issue out somehow. It's come out and there's a brilliant 24-page free supplement with it. More leaflets as well. Um, 
the supplement is for Twist and Turn, the new graphic novel musical that Tony Gibbs, the ex CEO, very nice guy of Noda, has produced. And um, that's a free supplement we've done with him. And um, there's our Panto Prep special um, issue that's come out for December and Jan. And in February is the Panto special inside the February issue. And that's when we need your photos. So any photos that were produced between, it's, it was, it's normally a one year window, but we're doing a two year window because of the pandemic this year. So if you performed a pantomime between 2020, 23rd of January, and 2022, 23rd of January, then send a selection of high-res pictures to us, please. Send them in, and we'll, um, we'll get them into our next issue, okay? Send them to news at sardinesmagazine.co.uk or send them to editorial at sardinesmagazine.co.uk, okay? That's it. Simple as that. Can't say any more than that, really. Um, let us know if you think this party happened or not and um, what your theatre society is up to. Apart from that, I hope you're not going down the slippery slope again. But um, I'm fearing the worst at the moment. Can you tell? See you later.